Hi everyone, uh, we're here today with Heather Leesman who is Vice President of Partner Development Operations at Jetsetter. Hi Heather. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, so we're, t we're talking today about social media and travel um, and just wanted to get your take on how booking travel has evolved with the huge change in peer recommendations and the use of community sites and special deal clubs such as Jetsetter. Absolutely. Um, so one of the catchphrases and one of the big sort of areas of, of focus over the last couple of years in travel has been reviews. You're constantly seeing properties um, and, and different distribution channels really focus on um, user-generated content and reviews as a great way to build out their content. Um, one of the things that we found at Jetsetter is that over the course of time, you know, a lot of properties that are focused on this, it's, it's become really hard to know who's written that review. Um, and with a site like Jetsetter, part of why we feel um, it's really important is that when, when members, our members are all very similar in terms of their demographics, their travel behaviors, the places that they want to go, which makes it really powerful. Um, we combine both the uh, expert reviews and user generated content through people that have actually stayed at the properties, which gives a lot of our members really comfort knowing that not only are they reading a review, but they're reading a review of a property of someone who stayed there that's just like them, that has similar interests and similar desires desires and similar um, expectations in terms of the level of service. Um, I think that's, that's what's really important. It's not about how many reviews you have, but it's about having the right reviews. Much like you would if, if you were you know, searching for a hotel, you, you trust your friends much more so than you would um, a generic review. And, and I think that's what's been really powerful with Jetsetter and the other membership communities. Mm -hmm. So tell us a bit more about Jetsetter. How do you decide who can join the community? Both these reviewers you were, you were mentioning and also the, the partner destinations and, and travel companies that you work with. Sure, um, starting with the reviewer side and our, our um, travel experts, we have a community of over 230 correspondents all throughout the world. Um, they are writers that, that contribute to, whether it's the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times travel section, or Condé Nast. Um, and what we look for is people who are experts in their region. Um, it's really important to us that they not only can review a property with an unbiased um, expectation, but also that they're looking at it through the eyes of what our membership is going to be looking for. Um, there's a ton, ton of great properties, but it doesn't always mean that they're right for our, um, our audience. Um, when we're selecting properties, it's similar in that we, um, as their team of curators, they'll go out and look at each destination and hand select the handful of properties that we feel will resonate with our membership base. We get it right a lot, but we don't. You know, it's not always a perfect match, and um, that's where our peer feedback comes into play. Every property that um, that we feature on the site, um, every person that stays at that property gets a post-stay survey. And if the property um, has less than an 80% approval rating from our members, we actually remove it from the site. And um, that isn't to say that the property is bad or has bad service or anything like that, but it's just that you know we're catering to a very specific audience of travelers and they may not be interested in a property based on its location or what have you. So it's really about finding the right match of properties to the membership that we have and then finding correspondence that can tell that story in a way that's going to resonate with our members. So, so when using social at Jetsetter, what have you found to be successful? And, and as a second part to that question, which are the travel brands or destinations out there that you think are doing it really well in social? Sure. Um, you know, Jetsetter, Jetsetter social is such a fundamental part of what we do. It's a core of our sort of uh, uh, operating um, uh, guidelines. And, um, you know, I think what we found to be really successful is just being fun and genuine and real. Um, we do have a jetsetter.com like Twitter um, address, but really where most of our activity comes through is the personas of our actual employees. Um, at Jetsetter, you know, social is not an apartment. It's not one person that does social. It's a, it's a cultural aspect of our, of our business. Um, each of our employees has their own you know, Facebook fan page or, or Twitter um, uh, address. Um, the most popular is probably Jetset Farron. Um, she has a, a ton of followers and she's always tweeting about travel and photography and music. Um, but it's about her perspective. It's not a corporate perspective and I think that's really important. On the other side we have our member services reps who are constantly interacting with our members and other, other Twitter followers um, in a way that's really, really real. 
Um, and in terms of other brands that I think are doing a good job, uh, I think ironically, um, I looked at the airline industry at a company like JetBlue, um, and I'm not sure if it's because they were a later entrant into the airline um, industry, but you know they clearly had digital as part of their DNA. Um, and when you look at how they use it to build their brand and to interact with their 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 customers, um, they've just done a phenomenal job. Um, you know, I think if you look at you know you go to the JetBlue Twitter page and and then go to one of the, the sort of legacy car carriers, you're going to see a huge difference in how um, those what those tweets are and the content of them and the tone of them. Um, and I think that's what you know um, JetBlue has over 1.5 million Twitter followers. There's a reason for that. It's it's interesting. It's fresh. It's it's not salesy or pitchy. Great, and I'll I'll leave you with the million dollar question. So, what do you see um, as the future of? A peer review recommendations. What's the next big thing in, in social travel? Sure. Um, as we talked about sort of at the beginning, this is a good way to bookend the conversation. It was, you know, we went from um, moving from marketing copy to user generated content and now into user generated content for people like me. I think that over the next 12 months, where I see sort of the evolution heading, is it's not enough to be for, from a community of people that you don't necessarily know or people that you think might be like you, but really evolving into sort of your social graph. Um, so taking you know Facebook and, and Twitter and those other connections um, and really drilling down so that when you are reading a review, the ones from people within your network are going to be escalated so that you're, you feel even closer to the people that are writing the reviews. Um, you want to really sort of, you know, at Jetsetter, I think part of why we have this curation and, and uh, why we spend so much time digging through which properties to go to is to try to get it right. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about, you know, people have less vacation time and that's why it's so much more important that they're staying at the right hotel. Um, you're going to feel much more comfortable and, and um, confident booking a hotel when you feel like it came from a personal recommendation. And I think social graphing just takes peer reviews to the next level of it's, you know, you've gone from generic down to someone I know or someone that knows someone I know has stated this property and recommends it for me. Um, so that's really where I see it, it heading in the next 12, probably six months, but <laughs> in the future for sure. Great. Thank you so much, Heather. Appreciate your time. My pleasure. Bye.